Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about SharePoint Alert Me feature. We will see how we can get notification to changes without writing any code or without creating any workflow or flow. So basically, SharePoint alerts are notifications that you will get through email or text messages to the content changes in a SharePoint list or library. So content changes means whether you someone added any item to a list or library or someone uploaded some files, modified some properties, modified any item, deleted any item. So for every changes you will get notification. And there are two kind of alerts are there. One is you can create at the list level. So any changes will happen to the list or library, you will get the notifications. The other one is the list item level. So you can actually set an alert for a particular item or a document in a library and you will get notification any changes to that. So now let me open a SharePoint site. So you can see here this is my SharePoint site. I have a list which is known as training course details list and it has couple of items on this. Now I want to create an alert for this. There will be numerous scenarios where you want to get notification if someone modified into this to, to a particular list or library. Now for this list I can click on this uh, triple icon here from the command bar you can see there is alert me feature. Once you click on alert me you can see here first the alert title by default when you will create a list label alert or a library label alert it will give you the list name and then the user so I want to get the notification through email and these are the changes type so any changes or if new items are added existing items are modified or items are deleted so these are the things that you can say so in this particular scenario I say all changes so basically any changes will happen I will get the notification and here you can see when you want to send these alerts meaning um, the changes for example if any changes happens or someone else change an item someone else changes an item created by me and then someone uh, someone else changes an item last modified by me so especially uh, if if I, if I am modifying an item I will not expect uh, an alert for the same so these are the options that you can see you can you can choose from anything and then the last one is when to send an alerts it has a uh, three uh, options are there where you can select the first one is you can get a notification immediately or you can get a notification on a daily summary report and also you can get weekly apart from that so if you will select a daily summary you can see it is allowing you to select the time even if you will select a send a weekly summary it will ask you on which day and what time you want to get the notification i want to send the notification immediately so i will select this and click on ok so once you click on ok the alert has been created and you can see it here uh, you can click on that you can go to manage my alerts and you will be able to see here the alerts has been created and this is the delivery method this is nothing but it is from the site settings page so if i will open uh, the site settings you can see here under site administration you can see user alerts so here you can see all your, your uh, alerts over here so if you select a, a display alerts for the particular user you can see click on uh, update and you will be able to see the alerts over here and you can actually select and delete selected alerts so this is basically uh, in an organization level or whoever people are using this site if they have they have created any alerts you can actually come here and you can manage the all your users alerts in this page now if i will go to the particular list here this is the list where we created the alerts what i will do is i will modify an item uh, you can see here this is one item so we can just click on this you can say edit and here we will say SharePoint and I will say framework training so instead of SPFX training I put SharePoint framework training and then I'll click on save now let me open my email here so I will just click over the app launcher and then you can see I can open the outlook 
now we, if we'll go to the other step you can see here you have created the alert successfully so this is one uh, message that you get uh, that this is an alert that has been created the other one is the uh, the message that it should come the second one let's just wait for a couple of seconds because the other message should come as the item modification one now you can see here the second email came and on this you can see here uh, this this is the changes uh, there is a changes ha has happened from this to this and you can see here this is edited in fact you can also receive uh, alerts on item deletion so this is about the list level so if even if a new item i will add so i will say test and uh, let's say i will put three uh, you can see here i will just uh, click on save even a new item has been added so i will get a notification for the same so you can check in my email you can see here there is an uh, item has been added this is the alert that i get with all the information now this is all about the list level or the library level alerts because if you open any documents also you will be able to see that there is an alert and it will work the same way so there is no need to cover this one but this is how it will work on the uh, library also now let me go back to uh, the list again so you can see here this is the training course details list and in this list we can also create an alert for a particular item for example let's say th this is one item which is saying sharepoint development training and this is the important item for me i want to uh, check any modifications or i want to get notified to any modifications happen to this particular item so i can select this item and then I, if i will go here i will select i will see the option alert me you can click over here and you can see this is uh, how it is it is giving the uh, list name and then the item name as the alert title and the other things you can see here email message any changes and when you want to get the notification so i will say anything changes and send the notification immediately and click on ok so once you click on ok uh, now there has been two alerts will be there one is for the list level the other one is for this particular item level so if you'll see manage alerts you can actually see two alerts over here one is for the list level the other one is for the particular item and also if you will see uh, it will show you that you have created an alert for this particular item now what i'll do here is i will go to this particular item i will click on edit and i will do a changes from here so i will make it to 70 hours maybe i will add it to sharepoint online development training and the price will be let's say 185 and i will click on save so once you click on save you can see here we have made some changes into this particular item and now i will go and we will see if any email we received definitely we are going to receive email over here couple of in emails in fact so these are the two emails i received the first one is you can see here uh, this is a modification to this item why two alerts first of all because one alert is from that particular list item and the other one is for the for the particular list because we have two alerts now so we got a uh, two uh, alerts or the two emails based on the modifications that we have done so this is the changes that we have done and this email from the list level alerts and this one is from the item level alerts that we have set so this is how we can work with alerts and without writing any code or creating any workflow or flow we can actually see the changes or we can actually um, uh, get the report weekly and monthly even so this is how we can work with alerts in sharepoint online if you want similar kind of uh, free videos and want to learn SharePoint, then you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. You will get a lot of free videos on SharePoint, Office 365, SPFX, Power Platform like Power BI, Power Apps and Flow also. So, so subscribe to the channel and press the notification icon so that you will get notification immediately after I upload a video. Thank you and have a nice day.